Well, I just thought I'd show you all this. Um, I rather expected it, but today I'm confirming it. This is what's left of the mean bees. The ones that I uh, brought out to my farm because I thought they were too mean to go in my backyard. Well, I suppose I fixed that genetic issue. If you recall from the prior video when I talked about putting them out here, I had them set up. This is a double deep. So I had the bottom, top, and they were set up. Oh, back over there in the trees. I think you can see maybe right there in the fork of that tree is where I had them sitting up off the ground. And honestly, I, I didn't give them a whole lot of faith that they'd make it, but you know, I've been out here maybe once a month since I put them out here and they always had some activity on the box. They were always going, but uh, not today. Guess the cold finally did them in. There ain't a lick of honey left in the box and they're all clustered up and froze to death. So you remember people think, oh my God, it's so cold. My bees are gonna freeze to death. That's not necessarily what happens. The first thing that happens is they starve to death. Now. It can be so cold that they won't break cluster to go eat, and so then they starve to death and freeze to death because they're, they, you can have a ball of dead bees right next to a bunch of honey. And in that case, you know, they it was so cold they wouldn't move to get to the honey that they needed. But without, the, without that energy, without the honey to eat, they can't vibrate their bodies to stay warm. And so they actually technically freeze to death, they starve to death first, and then because they can't eat, then they freeze. Um, it's kind of eerie to find it because, I mean, it looks just like any other cluster, you know. Looks like they're just asleep. Now my phone ain't focusing on them, but yeah. I mean, they look just like they're sleeping. They don't look like they're all, you know, it's not like they all die and fall on the bottom of the box. They just die right where they are. So, you know, it's sad, but like I said, at least it solves the problem that I had with these bees being so aggressive. Uh, I thought for funsies I might dig through here and see if I can find the queen, but really it doesn't matter. I'm going to knock the dead bees out of here and uh, I guess take this stuff home and put it in my inventory with everything else that I got to get ready for this spring. But just thought I'd give you all a little update and a uh, little lesson on freezing bees.